what's up everyone? My name is Mackenzie. I got a 65 Factory 5 Cobra behind me. We're gonna take this thing for a spin today. It's got a 5.0 under the hood and it is show quality clean through and through. All right, we'll kick off right at the front. You notice this one does have the road going bumpers, which is pretty cool. Don't see that all too often. I think it's nice. We've got some beautiful chrome and everywhere I've combed this car quite aggressively. No rock chips, no touch ups. It is incredibly well done. I believe uh, Michael Bishop did the paint job on this. It's a house of color um, paint products. It's top notch stuff. And this thing has been polished and detailed like crazy. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, we've got some nice 17 inch Halibrand replica wheels. We've got disc brakes all around. Totally killer set of side pipes. That's a polished stainless, the resonated side pipe here. Dig that. And check this out. So right up top, give these a spin, give this one a twist. And just like that. Whoo boy. So this is a Gen 2 Coyote. This one came right off the pallet. It's a crate motor. Um, it's backed by a five speed Tremec TKO 600. This thing sounds killer. Everything is working great. The tune up in it's incredible. Um, some other details in here. We've got a nice little Moroso expansion tank for a coolant. We've got an aluminum radiator with electric fans tucked up in there. Um, you know, this thing's got tubular control arms, all sorts of cool stuff. We can just get a peek at here, but we'll get a good look at it when we put it up in the air. Show you this closing back down. Simple as that. And you twist them, twist them, and she's locked in. Now, going through uh, the rest of this car here, everywhere on it, it's, it's real simple to say, but the truth is there is no blemish, no flaws. This car, like I mentioned, was titled in 2019. It's got just a couple thousand miles put on it, but it has been babied, um, enthusiasts owned, and very well cared for. You notice we got the full bumpers in the back here too, and a nice roll bar for the driver. There it is. Nice and clean. You could trim this out with carpet if you chose to, but it's got a pretty tough racy look. In the back of there you can see where the roll bar mounts and our harnesses. And underneath some of these closeout panels, you zip off some screws, and you you can access your uh, your fuel pump or get to the top of the fuel cell, all that good stuff. There it is, and just like that, very iconic, very iconic. Love that fuel fill. Uh, these tires, these things are sticky as can be. It's a Nitto NT05. Um, packing a good, a good bit of meat. This is a 315 out back there. Um, sitting on coilovers, the ride height is perfect. Uh, you'll see as we go down the road, this thing doesn't bump, it doesn't scrape. Um, set up well. So you get a good look at it here. This is the inside of the Cobra. Everything looks fresh and new. Um, I don't see any excessive wear anywhere. Um, got a nice wood trimmed steering wheel here. Nice set of digital gauges. Those things look sweet. Um, our key for ignition is just right over here. You hear that fuel pump prime and this thing is ready to go. Um, we've got parking brake, our short throw shifter on top of this Tremec things in perfect placement and it is billet a um, couple of switches work our lights and some fun things like that this one does have a turn indicator stock just right here um, what else can I tell you we have a kill switch for the battery right down there and if you want to remove that red key you can close it off and put this cap on it um, door releases just right here give this a little pull forward and kind of cool they've added some little pockets in here so you do have a little bit of storage maybe 
put your wallet, something else in there, phone, all that good stuff. And very simple. Couple of mirrors, nice little visors, and a rear view mirror. ton of wind noise but uh, we're doing about 65 miles an hour at just shy of 2,000 rpms that's nice you cruise this thing down the highway all day no issue so the most radical bump in the road is about 100 yards up we'll see how this thing does it's low but I don't think we're gonna have a problem that's a tight car Important things to note, we have no scuffing on the underside. That's sweet. Hasn't been parked on a curb. Tires are looking mint. Um, no bends rationing in the wheels. Got our nice disc brakes in there, stainless braided lines. The optional Kony adjustable coilovers, that was an upgraded option. The stainless battery mount holding that yellow top Optima. It's a high-end battery, they're pretty lightweight. You see this is a compact unit here. Hard lines all mounted and routed nicely. That's a very, very attractive set of headers. I dig this collector and I mean, the level of craftsmanship. Really, really nice clean welds, all laid in flush. And the polish on these side pipes, kick ass, kick ass. Um, all real quality stuff. You see we got the Moroso low pro oil pan, but keeping our capacity high. Um, TKO 600. This is a new unit, very low miles on it. You get a peep at this bushing here, or the trans mount. It's got no wear on it, and if you ever wanted to change it up, looks like you got a few other holes where you could mount something different, but I think that's a pretty good choice, a good fit for the car. Clean back here too. Um, new Ford 88, you see the Mosier diff cover on it. Um, those Coney coilovers again, everything is high jointed. Uh, trailing arms, the track bar, all of it, even upstairs. And then some more eye candy. The same as powder coated, a satin black, but this is a custom one off um, fuel cell. Very nice welds on there. And you'll see pretty simply, this is your fuel fill. Right up and out there, wires all loomed. This is a badass, badass little package underneath here. Alrighty guys, um, fun, fun car. This thing can be a handful. It's like 30 degrees out today. We got some pretty aggressive tires, so apologize we couldn't fully wake it up. I'd love to, but uh, we decided to just be stupid. Um, next up for us, I got a few things we share at the end of these videos. So I got a full listing, um, all the pictures, a breakdown of every part. I got a binder this thick with all the receipts. Um, pop a picture of that and show you guys. Um, check out that link. It'll take you to our website. Lots of cool stuff happening there. Then speaking of cool stuff we're up to, uh, LaFontaine Classic Cars, we've paired up with a 
uh, cancer foundation called You Can Survive. They raise money to support uh, local cancer research, to strive for a cancer-free world. We all probably know someone who's had it, suffered from it, um, and everything that goes with. So we're, we're giving away one of our beloved Broncos to a lucky winner. All you got to do is check them out make a donation and you actually end up purchasing a raffle ticket with this donation. We're going to put all that info down in the description as well and we'll pop up a picture of that cool little Bronco right now too. All right guys, thank you from the Fontaine Classics. My name is Mackenzie. We got Joey behind the camera. We always enjoy these. We'll see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe.